Welcome to the Running Trucker Garage. Today we are going to be breaking down a pup trailer with a hook truck and uh, show you a whole uh, operation on how that works out. So stay tuned. Okay guys, one of the biggest thing about this whole procedure is uh, it's a procedure. You want to do everything in the same order and uh, kind of just just keep everything consistent because then you're not going to forget things. So, And it's important, especially with the pup trailers and other kind of trailers that you, yeah, you have a procedure and then you don't forget things or you know things are missed and then you're in a, a world of hurt or you're hurting somebody else so but uh one of the biggest things with this thing first of all um you want to line yourself up wherever you're going to be is get yourself all lined up in a straight line and uh, that's going to make things easier when uh, you're trying to reconnect or and disconnect too so you want to be all in a straight line all right so i'm uh i'm lined up where i I want to be here. I think I have uh, I'm taken back up a little bit to take pressure off uh, the pin. Make sure I don't roll. Grab my bar here. What I do is I uh, take the airlines off. I'll just connect my uh, pop my chain off. Pop the chain off. That'll give me enough float or. Uh, if I see I let it back up just a little bit, that takes the pressure off it, otherwise it'll jam up against uh, up against the knuckle there. So and I'll just pull a little off center, because otherwise, I don't know how many times I've had it where it's coming and drop right back down. And then I hook back up to it again. So I just put it right so I'm just sitting on that little ledge. Or uh, sometimes I can have to I pull it all the way off, but this is sitting right where it can be right perfect so yeah all right is there anything to do with one handed flip that latch now i start on this side of the truck always i drop my chain off there there's a you cross our cross beams here that's where that hooks on to so, um, usually put it on the closest one. Um, not, no, that yeah, that's that would be the closest. So, and you can draw that tight. And I, yeah, I almost goofed up and left that on here. That would have been bad. Procedure. See, okay, I got everything disconnected here. I come and I start at this point here. Then I walk to this side of the trailer. Disconnect that. I take it about that. I don't know about. I don't know how many turns was that? Was it, were you counting? We'll walk to this side. Same ledge. Let's see. Let me count now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, we'll do ten. And I take this, slide it forward. That's one key thing is I always keep these slide arms really lubricated and these two. Just so everything just spins so nice. Because if you gotta sit and fight it, then you're losing time and time's money, right? So and then uh the brackets like that. They sit right over on that ledge here. Drop that down, and then we're coming to our last hook spot, which is 
I loosened that up earlier. And uh, disconnect it. And then, uh, then you know you're completely disconnected. And that procedure is done. That's probably the easiest way to do it so that there's no mistakes, nothing's forgotten. And I'll show you how I, I reconnect everything too. I go on the same procedure. So then it uh, 
doesn't uh, get bent up like some people used to do get it all bent up that's not for me though I right, double shorter chain this just so that the door swings a little tighter. I just throw it to the first bottom latch. Every box is different though. these roll-up boxes you always want to kind of well I'm on concrete so they're gonna roll but um, you always want to kind of pull the truck to the box instead of the box to you but uh, this one's not working that way same as when you, you want to get it straight so I kind of line my fenders I have the little overhang on this on this truck off the fender so but you can kind of see the little spot behind it where I need to line it up So should be able to pull it right up. I want to make sure that I got like lines and stuff. So you want to make sure you're hitting your rollers just right. Because if you are off straight, little or if it's it's a little crooked, you could possibly hit them lines, and then you're in a world of hurt.
thing all the way back and pretty much I should be right on them rails. Okay, I'm gonna stop for a second. Thing off so that you can actually hear something. One thing that uh, I do at least if I'm changing these boxes out, I try to make it at least once once a day. I like to oil these rails. This is just a called Schlipp Lubricant. Oh, anything would work. Um, these things too, I'd like to, uh, like I told you before, when we were ripping it apart, you want to lube that all up. Because, uh, yeah, the easier these boxes slide on there, the better. There's grease fittings on here too. Make sure you grease them. I don't have to give it a lot, but the more uh, otherwise, if you don't have to be, you know, it just it just makes these boxes so much easier to slide on here, a little less wear. I'm gonna pop that open right away too. If I can get a decent hand here. Right. And uh, yeah, put your caps back on too, because otherwise it'll. You hit that and make a nice mess inside your cab, you don't want that. Alright, let's try this again. Bring the thunder. Regular brakes take your emergency brake off, your parking brake off, and then as soon as uh, you know, sometimes if you don't, things aren't moved up either, the rails, well, then she'll start pushing on the trailer because there's, you know, there's a lot of friction. And then uh, if the brakes aren't really good, or if you're on ice or snow, it'll push that trailer right out, and then you're chaining the trailer to the truck to uh, get it to hold on. So. Here's the thump there, it's hitting on the railing, so then you can just kind of back off the brakes. And it'll fall down on the rest of them. See the, the rails right there that are picking up? I don't know if you can see that. Oh, it's the least, but if them, you, won't, you don't want those things to lift up, otherwise it'll thump down and then you're breaking stuff. So I'm going to bring this back down right to that position right there and that's about the closest to hooking uh, the next my box pack up
see him letting the truck pull into the box. It'll line her up, make sure she hits on him. to them rails and then uh, you can pull her on. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna keep the camera rolling. See, look, I hit that right where it belongs. First time. Woo! Okay, you're all witnesses. That's like a hole in one. Look at that. Woo! All right, now the procedure for this is gonna be exactly kind of sort of the same as uh, when you, uh, when you uh, unhook. So you're gonna hook everything up. I, I hook that up. I hook, grab my chain, my cables, my safety cables, put them on. Grab the one I need here. My trailer brake or lights, camera O2. All right, now well, here I'm gonna. Uh, I got all that hooked up. I'm gonna take a little bit of. A little pressure off of a little, there's a little bit of pressure on there so I'm gonna take that off and all right make sure that uh, cables are kind of not bunched up because then that'll loosen up Set this bar right there. That's the last I need that.
Weights are working on this side. I always start to the front. Get that up. Then I can kind of just keep working my way to the back. Some noise, wow! And then see how when that's when it's all lubed up, it just it's so much easier than trying to to fight it. I have another pup trailer that doesn't get used too much, and that one is just a, a bear because they never get lubed, and then it sits for six, seven months, and then check these tires. Trip. Lights, lights. Good tone. Tone on the tire. Alright. Got my camera shot. Okay, we got that latch. You want to keep these kind of as lined up as straight as you possibly can too because if you leave it over here well or back here the trailer could or the box could shift and then that's gonna loosen these side chains up so you want to kind of get them as straight as you can that. same procedure this one it's wedged up against that it's probably close uh, That keeps that straight. There. Take the chain. There, that's nice. Yeah, that light's working. Tigers. Inflated. They're all snugged up, ready to go, and then we're done. So you stick with that same procedure every time, then uh, you don't forget anything, because you don't want to accidentally forget to put a safety chain on, or accidentally, like big time, like forget to latch that pup, or latch the, the pinnel hitch, because uh, then you'd be in a, a super world of hurt, and uh, you could eventually could possibly kill somebody so with this thing I really try to be meticulously watching every move I do if I even think I forgot something I come back and I should double check because I do not want to ever ever lose this pup trailer down the road and uh, have it go f flying into somebody and killing somebody because that would be really 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 bad career ending bad so yeah there you go.
everybody. That's the walk around and that's uh, the procedure of, of how you tear this truck apart with the pup trailer. I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was some information that you probably haven't heard of or if you decide you're gonna start running a pup and a truck a combo like this, a lot, you know, the roll off procedure is pretty much the same. These are the same pup trailers used on roll offs. I've I've uh, I've hauled roll offs, and the procedure is a little bit different on how you get the boxes on here, but uh, it's actually a lot easier on the hook trucks and on the roll offs. But uh, I know there's plenty of videos out there that uh, do the roll off procedure, but this is the hook procedure. Um, and uh, I hope it helps you out. And uh, hope you have a great and blessed day. So, all right. Peace. See you on the next one.